Hey, Richard, two years ago when you guys decided to take this team wing racing, you know, obviously the goal is to win races, you know, traveling, you know, throughout the different series. Is, did you guys imagine already only in year two you guys would have a Kings Royal underneath your banner now? I would say no. This guy right here, you want to hear our strategy, the winning strategy? Let's just run some local shows and fly under the radar. Uh, that's, how, that's what we started doing. I yeah. think. I think that strategy's yeah. out the window. Well, right? I don't. I don't know if this one did. This one register at all? Is this still under the? It radar hasn't course? sunk in. <laughs> <laughs> We're not still under the radar. Uh, pretty much not. I heck, I remember coming here as a teenager and uh, leaving here with this on my bucket list. It was pretty awesome, and uh, I uh, our sponsor in Texas, and it just made me think of that just now. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty incredible. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, Tim. I, I mean, I know this is a little different element, you know, not with Brian. But if we asked Tyler in the interview, you know, what would he feel Brian would be saying seeing this? What What would you feel you guys accomplishing this already so soon? Oh, I mean, he'd be over the top. I mean, if not for him going wing racing when he did, I don't even know if we have this idea. You yeah. Know, he's really the one that uh, you know probably showed all of us to to take a challenge and take it head on and. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, I know he would be uh, just over the top proud of, uh, you know, proud of all of us, but probably, you know, especially of Sunshine. You know, I mean, he was like a little brother to Brian, and, uh, you know, some of Brian's uh, most pissed off moments were at the track where maybe Sunshine outran him, but, uh, you know, he always, uh, you know, he always came back around and let Sunshine know how proud he was of him, and there's no doubt he'd be proud of this right now. Well, a lot of the media guys in the media room asking him questions. Are you shocked to see him develop so well, so quickly already in a wing car this fast already? Now he has one of the most prestigious titles and wins underneath his banner now, after only two years in the wing car, mostly. Yeah, I mean, I, I think... You know, I mean, look, he's a he's a great race car driver, versatile. You know, midgets, non-wing cars. Um, I, I don't know if I expected this so soon, honestly. Um, and and then to look at the team that we are. I mean, we're a very young team. We didn't bring in a seasoned crew chief. We brought together, you know, a group of guys that could learn together, make mistakes together. Um, but I think you know, like this race probably showed how how much they have each other's back and how much they support each other and. Uh, I don't think uh, lining up on the front row. I think they all expected that uh, you know we get a we get a good start and we got a shot to win this thing. How was that crowd? I mean, I, I told a lot of people, you know, Tyler Courtney wins this race. You know, every time he wins in a non-wing car, the place goes crazy. So he's a fan favorite here. What was that overall experience for you guys? I mean, that crowd just went absolutely berserk when he got on top of that wing. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, obviously, from my perspective, it's incredible, and to be here and do it in front of a crowd. I mean, let's face it. Today is probably the biggest day in sprint car racing ever um you know with i mean there's a lot of people here oh i, I, I yeah. mean it's incredible how many people have showed up for this event yeah i mean and you kind of knew that when they made this a two day or two races in one day you kind of felt like people who who may have been on the fence uh, if they could get in their car and drive here um they're here and then of course the money's uh, the money's big and uh you know and then to do two in the same day you got to figure especially this daytime show um, not only the people here are watching, but you know everybody in motorsports is watching today's race. Now we may lose a little bit of that, those fans online tonight because they're going to race themselves. But uh, for this afternoon show, I think the whole world was watching. What was that atmosphere for like for you, Richard? I, I think it's it, Tim just touched on it. It's a testament to this whole team, the crew. Yeah, they're all young. We've got a rookie crew chief, uh, a rookie wing driver for that matter, and uh, <laughs> a crew that just. Uh, it, it's a testament to their teamwork, and I, I think it, it really gives a lot of credit to what I've told a lot of people from the business world all the way through racing is you hire good people, you give them a, a teamwork uh, atmosphere and let them do their job. And these guys have come together behind a driver, and, and absolutely, I, I think it's a testament to Sunshine. Uh, it's something that I saw a very young age when I was following the Outlaws as a kid uh, in Steve Kinzer. He just had the will to win. Whatever he got in, he had the will to win, and I, I see that a lot in Tyler as well.